the first gentleman of football makes his last appearance in the Football League. Bobby Charlton coming out with the United manager Tommy Doherty and both teams coming onto the field at the same time to mark this momentous occasion. The crowd here absolutely packed. The gates were shut 20 minutes before the start. And in fact, the two sides will precede Bobby Charlton onto the pitch because a special presentation is going to be made to it. Alex Stepney leading out the Manchester United side. Eddie McCready leading out Chelsea. But it's Bobby Charlton's day. This his 606th and last appearance in the first division. Fittingly making it in London because nowhere perhaps other than Manchester itself and in his native northeast has he been more greatly appreciated than in the capital. Not far from here at Wembley where he won his greatest honours, the World Cup and the European Cup two years later. But wherever United have played in London, the crowds have flocked to see them and to see this man. And Charlton himself said before the game that he's delighted he's playing his last match at Chelsea. A ground which he's always liked, and listen at that reception. Brian Mears, the Chelsea chairman, presenting Charlton with a silver cigarette box on behalf of the Chelsea club. Louis Edwards, the United chairman in the background. Sir Matt Busby is there as well. A moving moment, let's hope the game we're going to see matches the occasion. As far as Chelsea are concerned, that's the team that beat Coventry on Easter Monday. And if you don't follow Chelsea, there are two names there that might be new to you. Ian Britton, the number seven, and Mickey Brolly, the number 11. Two 18-year-olds from Scotland who've had their chance in the Chelsea first team recently because of this... Back by Buchan. One can't help feeling that there'll be some sort of farewell for Bobby Charlton when the final whistle goes. And that is it. The end of a match which, for the record, Chelsea won 1 0, but the match was really all about Bobby Charlton's last league appearance. The end of his 606th and final game. And he can look back like Jimmy Greaves did and say he played everyone in the first division, in the toughest league in the world. And listen now to the applause as Charlton leaves league football. Now we have lots of uh, Congratulations from Peter Bonetti, a former England colleague. Charlton with a little farewell to the crowd. And what more can you say?